What's up, YouTubers? Um, this is the iPod Touch Force Generation. <coughs> really indicated by the front facing camera and uh, back camera, and you can see it's a 32 gig model. Um, the latest version of software for this is iOS 4.2. Right now it's in Gold Master phase, or also known as GM. Um, so let's take a look. Um, I had an iPhone 3GS and I had iOS 4 on it and it ran really fast and then I updated to 4.1 and you know it added some nice features and it slowed it down dramatically. And I got the iPod Touch because I wanted the Retina display and more storage, I didn't use the phone that much. Um, and then I noticed when I got the iPod Touch it supposedly was faster hardware wise but it came with 4.1 and it was wicked slow. I restored it and now no luck. And so I updated to iOS 4.2 and I have to say um, it's a lot faster on iOS 4.2 than it was on 4.1. So, you know, here it is. I tried to unlock. You can tell this is the camera. So anyway, let's take a look at some of the new features. Um, first up, you notice in the utilities thing, there's a new icon for voice memos. I don't know why I would care, but that's just new. Also, in Safari, so, um, what would I favorite website? You notice the center button. The center button is no longer the, I'm going to scroll down and make this four. I like the full version. You'll notice this isn't a plus button like it used to be. Um, this is actually a button and it's got add bookmark or even now print. Um, it's called air print. Now you have to select a printer. And I have uh, three printers on the Wi-Fi on my network. Uh, I don't find any of them. You have to have them air print compatible or you have to have them set up on your computer. So, I haven't actually gotten to test this um, because I don't want to update all my computers to the beta of 10.1 because it's kind of a pain. So I can't really demonstrate that to you yet. Um, but the OS is definitely snappier and less lag. Uh, let's take a look at settings. You can see settings open up much quicker than before, although that was still slower than before. Um, you notice in sound, this is new to iOS 4.2 for those with iPhone 4s. The change with button option, that actually was already in 4.1 for the touch, but according to people, they said it wasn't in for the iPhone 4. Um, Oh yeah, some new features in Safari that I forgot to highlight out to you. Um, if if you go up, oops. If you go up to Google, and you type in let's say iPhone. Notice how there is, and then on this page, see iPhone 4 Verizon cases. Um, on this page, well, never mind, on this page, find iPhone. If we do that, notice what it does. It actually highlights, and it only, and you hit next. And so that's kind of a cool little thing, I guess. Um, AirPlay. Theoretically, that would be in Photos. Um, it actually used to be up here, but it's not in the GM for some reason. Um, also, new is in Settings, Notes, Font. So... Notes. Oops.
jump back to settings. Changes the font. So, that's that. Um, what else do let's, let's go back to the iOS feature list. Um, that means we'll go to Wikipedia. I have to say their mobile site is actually better than their own app, which is kind of sad, but you know. So we will type in. Hold on, sorry, I'm gonna. Alright, I can type much faster with my thumbs. Um, so. We'll do version history. And we will scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. And scroll. Um. Alright, so in 4.2. Um, you can see all the cool crap about that. Okay, iPad exclusive, yeah. Okay, for iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. AirPlay replacement for AirTunes. AirPlay will stream music and all that. I showed you that it doesn't exist for some reason in the GM. AirPrint. Uh, I can't show you that. I tried. Um, birthday icon. Was, uh, where is this? Birthday icon of change in calendar. Update carrier settings. Text search on web pages, which I showed you. Carrier settings for the iPad. Or, the iPhone not the touch. Um Chinese URL over Safari included an indicator shows which apps are supporting for Game Center, YouTube voting, minographics and and uh things, new wallpapers and settings, and then ugh. exclusive to the iPhone, it fixed the daylight bug and the screwy, stupid um, you know, uh security hole that allows you to access the stuff so one of the things I didn't want I didn't show you yet um double click this you know you have this and airplay would be right there but it's not for some reason so airplay is actually not here but for some reason I don't know why they did this this is the volume control it should be brightness like on uh, the iPad um you'll see you know I can just adjust the volume with these buttons and any device that runs iOS 4.x or 4.2 anyway, has buttons on the side, making this a really stupid, dumb thing. Um, YouTube. Just like slightly changed UI. Just launch a random video, and then we'll already finish it. And you notice that I can choose rate and common flag, and I can rate or comment, and I can vote it up or down. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to have to sign in right now. Um, tell me also the other changes. New parental controls. Okay, um, let's see if there's an option for those in China. No, um, so parental controls has been fixed, or, um, you go to general, restriction, restrictions rather, um, allow, Safari, so YouTube, the installing and deleting apps are new, allow changes for Accounts and location, I believe, are new. And Game Center, also new. Um, I don't know. Uh, so there are other nifty little enhancements. And the latest version of iOS. Um, also in the App Store. This is Angry Birds. It says Game Center because it works with Game Center. Just a little badge. That means if you go to Game Center,
You can friend me if we may nick at match.com. That's not my email address, so go ahead and send spam because I won't get it. Um, here are all the Game Center apps that I have installed on the iPod. So this gives you um, a feel for iOS 4.2. Um, there are other nice features about it, I guess. Um, my biggest thing is it does definitely seem more snappier. Um, and we'll take a look at contacts real quick. Birth date, anything? Oh, uh, maybe that was in calendar. We'll take a look at calendar. I don't know. Anyway, um, it should be released shortly. I'm expecting within two weeks. Um, this needs to have the iTunes 10.1, which requires OS 10.6.5. Well, it doesn't require it, but AirPrint requires 10.6.5. And on Windows users, you need iTunes 10.1 for the AirPrint feature. Also, 4.2 requires 10. iTunes 10.1. And so, they're going to release 10.5, 10.6.5. Um, iOS 4.2 and 10.1 probably all around the same time. So that's a look at um, the new version of the iOS. And um, I didn't actually show you, but in case you didn't know, but I was actually not joking. And I'm on 4.2. I don't think the camera. There you go. You can see. Four dot two. So that is um, iOS four dot two for the touch force generation. Thanks for watching.